What's going on sixpackapps.com? It's Thomas DeLauer and today I am talking about fasting and muscle growth. You all know me as the fasting expert and you've probably seen my science-based six-pack program and if you haven't, you can see it in the description below. But today I wanna to talk about the link between intermittent fasting and actually building muscle. See, it's not just about fat loss. It can actually have some pretty solid benefit when it comes down to putting on some good muscle as well. And I'm gonna leave this off with a study from the Western Journal of Medicine. What this study found was just after three days of fasting, now mind you, this is an extended fast, not necessarily just intermittent fasting, but what they found was there was a 300 to 1250% increase in human growth hormone. Okay? Then a different study that was published in the Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism found that there was a five-fold increase in human growth hormone after just a short period of fasting. Now, I've talked about this before. It might sound a little bit like a broken record. I'm always referencing human growth hormone when it comes down to fasting. But what I want to do is explain how human growth hormone has an effect when it comes down to building muscle. You see, human growth hormone is not just a random hormone. It's a 191 amino chain. What that means is it operates in the body like a protein. It goes around and it stimulates different growth of different things. Now, it's created by the somatrophic cells in the pituitary gland, and it creates what are called chondrocyte cells. What these chondrocyte cells do is they divide inside the cartilage. Now you might be wondering, what does cartilage have to do with muscle? Well, cartilage, when those cells divide, helps stimulate collagen synthesis and collagen production. Collagen gives our cells structure when it comes down to the muscles, okay? It helps the muscle actually develop and have structure. But collagen is also gonna help us with a lot of other things like tendon strength and everything like that. Now, you may have noticed that anyone that goes on human growth hormone therapy or any kind of anti-aging therapy usually ends up having nicer skin as well. Well. That's simply because they have an increase in collagen production and collagen is going to help your skin as well. But human growth hormone does something very specific when it comes down to protein. You see, it decreases protein oxidation. We have two different things, protein synthesis and protein oxidation. Protein oxidation is where the excess protein that you're consuming is getting oxidized and ultimately becoming toxic. Okay? And then we have protein synthesis, which is what's utilized to build muscle. Human growth hormone decreases the rate of protein oxidation, meaning that more of the protein that you consume is actually utilized by the body to ultimately build muscle. So that is exactly why having a five-fold increase in human growth hormone when you're fasting could be immensely powerful when it comes to building muscle. Now let's talk about beta-hydroxybutyrate. I talk about beta-hydroxybutyrate a lot when it comes down to ketosis, but I don't always mention it when it comes down to fasting. You see, when you go into a fasted state, your body produces this ketone body known as beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, beta-hydroxybutyrate does a number of things within the body, but in this particular case, I wanna talk about a study that took a look at athletes that were already in a ketogenic or fasted state producing beta-hydroxybutyrate and how their muscle levels were affected when they were working out. So what they did is they look at these athletes, they had them work out in a fasted state, they measured their beta-hydroxybutyrate levels, but then they measured their muscle cells. They took a look at a few things. What they found was that the presence of beta-hydroxybutyrate increased their muscle cell survival rate, meaning that when they were working out, they were not burning up muscle tissue. Every time you work out, you actually do burn up a little bit of muscle. So if beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is a result of fasting, helps that muscle survive, that's a very, very good thing. But there was one other amazing thing that happened with this beta-hydroxybutyrate. They found that it increased the ATP function in the mitochondria, meaning that it literally increased the power of the muscle too. Yes, by not eating and working out, you have an increase in your power in addition to actually being able to build muscle. Pretty amazing. Okay, now I have to talk about something known as myostatin. I've never talked about this in a video before. This is something totally new that you're hearing. Myostatin is a limiting factor in building muscle. If you've ever seen those Belgian blue cows before, those are the cows that are completely yoked out out of their minds. They look freakish. They have a genetic variation that allows them to have a myostatin deficiency. Basically means their muscle is able to grow to an extreme amount. Humans have a high level of myostatin. Myostatin is stopping our muscles from ultimately growing. And the way that that works is the myostatin affects what is known as the autocrine function of the muscle cell basically inhibiting it from ever being able to differentiate, divide, or ultimately grow. So more myostatin equals less muscle. Less myostatin equals more muscle. Now myostatin has a very intricate relationship with testosterone. There was a study that took a look at this as well. The International Journal of Sports and Health found that test subjects that were exposed to just a small amount of exogenous testosterone 
ended up having a massive, significant decrease in their myostatin levels in various muscles of the body, meaning that it didn't just take place in one particular area of the body, it was systemic. A small increase in testosterone equals less myostatin, meaning your body is literally able to put on more muscle than you were genetically able to before testosterone. Okay, that's great, that's with testosterone, but now we have to make the link between fasting and testosterone to have this all make sense. You see, the European Journal of Endocrinology, which I've referenced a lot before, did a study and found that fasting increases what's known as luteinizing hormone. Okay? Luteinizing hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland to ultimately allow the Leydig cells to produce more testosterone. More luteinizing hormone equals more testosterone. It's sort of the first step in the equation. So fasting has a massive increase, 180% actually, on testosterone. And if we have that increase in testosterone, then we have the decrease in myostatin meaning that we're able to build more muscle and we're able to feel a lot better in the process. So you have the combination of the human growth hormone, the myostatin limitation, and also, of course, the beta-hydroxybutyrate that's preserving muscle. You have a triple threat when it comes down to being able to build muscle, preserve muscle, but also burn fat in the process. So as always, make sure you keep it locked in here on sixpackabs.com and make sure that you check out the science-based six-pack program if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video.